Hello and welcome to today's video on high altitude investing. In today's video, I'm going to be doing from start to finish technical analysis on Zillica. So let's get right into this. All right, so Zillica. I'm on the Zillica Binance Bitcoin chart. Unfortunately, there is not a US dollar for this one, but that's okay. We can do fine with the Bitcoin chart. We just need to be aware that it is a little bit distorted by Bitcoin's price. Um, so yeah, let's get right into this. The first thing let's check is where it's at on monthly volume. As far as monthly volume goes, we're 19th at $2.9 billion. If you click on the actual coin itself, right here, you'll see its total market cap is 826 million. 24 hour volume is at 58 million. And the total supply is at 12.6 billion total supply and circulating is at 7.3 billion so that looks pretty good as far as market capitalization and volume goes now let's do some actual technical analysis on this firstly i think that we are in the first wave in a bigger elliott cycle just to start off by saying that so let's count the waves after we see the percentages that it's moved since it got added to binance since it was added it seems we've moved 612% on the upside, so that's very nice. Now let's take our Elliott Wave Impulse Tool and then let's draw the first wave, which is right here. One, two, three, four, five. So we have five impulses on the upside. Now let's take the Elliott Wave Tool again and let's do an A, B, C correction. All right, so I personally think this is the first wave in a bigger cycle, meaning that we're going to have another impulse on the upside. If we test support, we are on the 50% Fibonacci. We can go ahead and delete that. So there's two main outcomes that can happen here. So I'll start with my primary prediction and then we'll go from there. My primary prediction is that we go in for a steeper market cycle as such. Let me pull this down, hit four and five. Okay. So this is primary saying that trend will continue. This is mainly because the MACD looks like it's starting to turn. We have volume picking up and it already did an ABC correction in its first wave. So this is the primary prediction for Zil Zilliqa and 0 0.00005 satoshi is where you're looking to see this reach now that's not exactly a target because in the three wave we're actually expecting this to expand above certain levels um, anything past the 5000 satoshi range we are expecting it to go above that but it'll do an abc before it does that so let me just take this tool and we'll just do a publish idea and we'll do a zillica Z-I-L-L, -L, that's what I thought. Zillica, 529 of 18, from start to finish, TA. And we'll do long wave analysis, TA. So I'll publish this private idea. Let's just take this and we'll remove all drawing tools. Now let's get into the alternative prediction. After I point out the bull flag for our primary, because I just noticed this. Yeah, this is a, a bull flag that is forming here on Zillica as well. So I'll just take that and post this in the description of the chart. Bullish flag and then we'll do the alternative prediction as well which is that we go in for a deeper ABC because again anything is possible in trading it's all about risk management having a few different outcomes and betting your money on the primary outcome if it doesn't go as planned you either have to take a loss or get out at a small gain or break even and then after that you really want to be 
deciding whether you're going to take short positions or just wait out on the market, not be in any position for a while. So it's really about minimizing risk, maximizing gains. So you want to have multiple outcomes, but bet your money on the primary outcome. So this is the alternative that we are going in for a bigger ABC. And that would take us back down to the four wave at about a thousand. And this is totally possible, you guys. So if this B wave starts to get rejected at about 2000 Satoshis, then you'll know we're not really going to go in for a bigger bull move right here. And we'll have to do some correction before we can do that. So let's take this. We'll copy this and then we'll just comment this in the description of the chart and say alt count so you understand that this is the alternative prediction and the other way that this can really play out. Thank you so much for tuning in today's video. I hope that you learned something. If you have any questions, go ahead and let me know in the comment box below and I will catch you in the next videos. As always, stay profitable.